Hello, this is LuxBrush, and here are my quick thoughts on My Little Pony Season 4, Episode 7, Bats. Well, this episode was fun mostly because of the fact that Fluttershy gets turned into a vampire. That's really neat. The design of her is very well done, kind of freaky, works really well for the design. I like the subtle changes that happened as she transformed a lot of story elements felt reused from previous seasons, and lessons the characters learned, specifically Fluttershy, Twilight Sparkle, and Applejack, are all lessons that they already have learned or should have learned already. The fact that Applejack was stubborn again, I wish they would do something new with Applejack other than, I'm stubborn, yeah. And didn't Fluttershy already learn to stand up for yourself even with your friends? And the lesson Twilight should have learned is, don't mess around with creatures with magic. Bad things happen. Does anyone else remember the Parasprite incident? Yeah, messing with creatures' choices of what they eat. That worked out so well the last time. Also, I kinda saw... Well, actually, I really saw the fact that Fluttershy was being turned into some type of vampire. It was kinda obvious from the moment the stare was being used. Also, this whole episode has a Halloween kind of vibe to it. That's probably due to the fact they use the horror movie kind of theme to it. Also, does anyone else think Rarity makes a great vampire movie victim? Yeah, she just kind of fits most of the criteria. At least in my head. And did Pinkie Pie remind anyone else of Bugs Bunny? I'm surprised you didn't pop out of the hole and go, Which way to Albuquerque? I know I should have made a left. Or whatever the ponyfied version of the word Albuquerque is. Oh, I've almost forgot to talk about the song. Which felt nice to me, but a little flat. And it reminded me of a couple of different songs. The first time I watched the episode, it surprisingly enough reminded me of what my cutie mark is telling me. Mostly the beat a little bit. But the second time I watched the episode, it didn't really give that vibe to me anymore. And I'm still trying to place what songs or theme songs it really reminds me of. It just, it hits a chord and I can't quite place it. Oh, and I didn't realize until a friend of mine pointed it out that Pinkie Pie was kind of rewording the winter wrap-up song as she bounced off, going fruit bat wrap-up, fruit bat wrap-up. Yeah, I didn't see that or pick up on that until a friend of mine pointed it out. Overall, to me, this feels like the weakest episode of season four so far. But that's not saying much, because to me, so far, Season 4 is much stronger than Season 3. Season 3 overall had a rushed feeling to me. This one has less of a rushed feeling to me. The only parts that feel a little bit rushed were in the first four or five episodes, where the endings felt like they were a little rushed to get things resolved. But that seems to have worked out so far. It doesn't happen much anymore, at least in the last couple of episodes. The endings felt very well paced. Well, that was my thoughts on My Little Pony Friendships and Magic Season 4, Episode 7, Bats. I'm going to be releasing these videos on Sunday from now on, most likely, because it gives me an extra day to do some stuff, and I usually work on Saturdays in the morning, so I get a chance to watch the episode but not record anything until later in the day. And this will also give me a chance to put up more videos like you're watching right now of themes related to the episode as I draw them out in time-lapse form. So that's what I'm planning on doing from now on. Hope you enjoy them like this, and feel free to leave a comment or critique of the drawing. I'll be putting up the full video of the time-lapse later once I finish it. That will include the flat shading and coloring of the lines. So thank you for watching, and hope to speak with you soon.